بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ڈیئر سٹوڈنٹس آور کرنٹ سیشن فوکسز آن ٹائپس اینڈ سگنیفیکنس آف ورائٹیز آف لینگویج آئی ہوپ اینڈ ایکسپیکٹ بائی دا اینڈ آف دس سیشن یو وڈ بی ایبل ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ آر دا مین ٹائپس آف ورائٹیز آف لینگویج اینڈ واٹ از دیئر سگنیفیکنس ان سوشل لنگویسٹکس ویل مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اف وی گو فار دا ڈیفینیشن دیٹ از گیون بائی دا آکسفورڈ کمپینین ٹو دا انگلش لینگویج it gives two broad types of language varieties though there are further sub varieties but two major types of varieties of language and the first one is user related varieties varieties that are based on users that are associated with particular people particular groups particular um communities um depending upon the users the people the groups of people who are using them the other type of variety of languages is use based that is not user based when we say use based varieties they are actually associated with the function that is performed by these languages so you know for example one language is used in the court the other language is used um for example for literature another language is used for family which language is used for um, street which one is used for business which one is used for example for education so based on the use there can be different varieties of language as well my dear students varieties may relate to a place or a community for example with indian english um um we can say that indian english is a variety of english so depending upon the users you know where it is being used by by which people we would say this is indian english and there can be sub varieties of that as i said earlier for example anglo indian english or for example gujarati english so the second point that i'm trying to establish apart from the varieties and the types of varieties is that within varieties there is a possibility of having sub varieties or sub types when it comes to the use considering the uses of language for example we can have legal english we can have uh, advertising english and then we can have different combinations of the two um for example as british legal english american uh, legal english british advertising english or um, american advertising english languages also vary from one place to another from one social group to another from one ethnicity to another and also from one situation to the other now this last example of one situation to the other would come under the uses you know in one particular situation language would be used in one way in the other it would be used in another way and this would create two distinct varieties this may include um these varieties that are user based and use based they are not limited to language per se they can include language they can include dialects they can include include registers they can include different styles and other different forms of language varieties linguists in fact speak of both standard and non standard varieties as well and depending upon the use you know speakers use each of these varieties um of the language um where a standard variety or a non standard variety as per functions is required i hope and expect that now you understand what are the major types of varieties of language and how they are important in sociolinguistics